Okay, coming right up is my review of the Player Series Duo Sonic from Fender, but first here's a intro track recorded with that guitar. I love gold! The same goes for me, but actually the name of the finish on my guitar is Desert Sand. You also get this guitar in a couple of other finishes. And by the way, you can also get this guitar in a HS configuration, which means with a humbucker in bridge. So in this video, I want to show you some clean sound and some dirty sounds. I want to talk about the specs and also I want to tell you what I think about this very guitar and I'm pointing in this direction because the guitar is down there. By the way, this video is sponsored by Fender, but they are not telling me what to say in this video. So I promise you, this is an honest review. Okay, so I'm reading some specs here. 24 inch scale length, C-shaped neck. It has two dual sonic single coils. Maple fingerboard with 9.5 inch uh, radius. 22 jumbo frets. And it has a six saddle string through body hardtail strat bridge with bent steel saddles. Master volume and tone controls and a three way switch. <laughs> I want to tell you what this guitar reminds me of going back maybe 10 15 years i used to work at a guitar store and i think it was around that time that fender released a series called classic player and in that series they had a guitar called uh, the 50s baja telecaster and working in that guitar store we just loved that guitar and i remember we got the first guitar in and everyone was just stunned on how good that guitar was and how good the price was So one employee bought one, then another one bought one, I bought one, everyone ended up buying one and they were so easy to sell because we truly liked every single guitar that came into the store and again the price was really really good. And when Fender sent me this guitar, I got the same exact feeling. This guitar is actually a bit cheaper than the Baja Tele back then. And it just plays really, really well straight out of the box.
to me it's such a good sign when I just want to sit and play the guitar acoustically without even thinking about plugging it in and that happened to this very guitar. And one thing that I noticed after using this guitar for a while is that the tuning is a lot more stable than with the Mustangs. I'm just comparing those two since they are offsets and I have a Vintera Mustang which I also like a lot but I think the tuning is absolutely more stable on the player Duo Sonic. Is there really anything negative to say about this guitar? No, not really, uh, not for me at least. I have been thinking, should you have the original Duosonic uh, pickup switches? But I don't really miss those at all. Um, the guitar would be more authentic, of course, if it had those, but the three-way toggle switch that you get with this one just works better anyway, so yeah. I don't have that. By the way, if you're interested in offset guitars, I want to recommend that you check out this video that I made. I really recommend this guitar, but just don't take my word for it. Listen to the sounds that I have recorded in this video, and if you have the chance, try one out. That's always the best thing to do. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye.